Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic is production and process controls. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction. There's some important information in there. You can check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will review today. In each executive series video, we have a standard agenda which covers four areas. You can see those areas in the status bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our topic, production and process controls, comes directly from 820.70 and 1345 sections 7.1 and 7.5.1. Production and process controls in five words. Control manufacturing, produce safe devices. We must have documented procedures, work instructions, and SOPs in place to ensure that we control the manufacturing process. All of the equipment that we use has to be reviewed and approved. We have to establish workmanship criteria. What's good look like? What's bad look like? And we have to train the operators so they can tell what good product looks like, what bad product looks like. We have to make sure that we fulfill all applicable regulatory requirements related to the manufacturing and sales of our medical devices. And then finally, we have to utilize risk management throughout the manufacturing process. Where the risk is high, we have more control. Where the risk is low, we can apply less controls. The risk management process itself will help us do that. So how do I know this is working? Well, first, I have all the SOPs and work instructions defined for each step within my manufacturing process. Second, operators clearly understand and can tell the difference between good and bad product. And then finally, I utilize risk management throughout my manufacturing process. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, Operators don't know what good product is, they don't know what bad product is. So they're continually guessing on what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. Second, processes routinely operate outside of their validated range or their established parameters. And then finally, you have uncontrolled work instructions or your work instructions are not detailed enough. So what the operators actually do in practice doesn't match what your paperwork says. Now for those three bonus questions. First, how do we monitor and control our process performance? Second, how do we utilize risk management throughout the manufacturing process? Third, how do the operators gain access to the needed work instructions and SOPs to manufacture the product? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.